Hello everyone, Ardrom Harris here from ardromharris.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the search.conduit uh, hijack scheme. If you've installed a uh, certain software that uh, was presented to you as free, and it was free, and you installed it and after you've gone to your web browser you found that the uh, bookmark website that you had set, uh, such as Google, for example, was replaced by one called search.conduit.com, uh, then your browser was hijacked. And this had happened to you whether you're using the Firefox uh, web browser or the Google Chrome web browser. I don't have any experience with the uh, Internet Explorer web browser, but I suppose it can happen with that one as well. But here's a solution to remove it uh, from the Firefox a web browser. So this is how you do it. First launch the web browser and right now I've launched my web browser and when it initially comes up it does not come to the bookmark site that I had which was uh, uh, google.com. It comes up to something different here and it could be any random website. And uh, it was my fault. It was a result of uh, downloading some free software that actually works but embedded in that software was uh, a hijacker and uh, there's no warning that uh, the manufacturers of that little piece of software was going to be installing a hijacker. In fact, as you progress through the installation stage, there's nothing there that says, okay, that if you use the software that you're going to get, uh, we're going to take over your web browser. But at any rate, this is how you remove it. Open your web browser and at the top here, type in about.config. Just like that and hit the enter key and it takes you to another window within Firefox and once you get here then I want you to type in search dot conduit and hit the enter key and when you do that it shows all the instances uh, of search dot conduit within the web browser which I'm going to do here is come over and right click on that and click reset on each one of them right click reset right click reset and make sure that you're paying attention to what you're resetting all right search.conduit.com reset search.conduit.com and we'll reset all these here and over here you can see search.conduit we'll reset on that one reset reset and reset and what I normally do here also is that I'll like just do a just conduit, make sure I got everything. And just do a quick scroll down. There's another one. Here's another one here. So I'll go and do a uh, reset on those as well. And this is the price you pay for uh, installing free software. Even though they say it's free, it's not really free. There's a price to be paid. Whether it's you giving up an email address or what you see here, your web browser being hijacked. Okay, that should have been the last of them. Okay, I think I got them all. So the next thing that you probably want to check before you do anything else is go up to the Firefox options window there and uh, check your home page setting in here. Uh, you may, you know, if you have to see that the uh, search.conduit's in there, take it out and put in leave it blank or put something else in there. In my case, I put uh, Google and I clicked OK. Then uh, I'd say close out the Firefox web browser and then uh, restart it. And when you restart it, it should come up to either a blank page or the uh, website that you bookmarked. And there it is. I bookmarked Google. So that's how you get rid of the um, search.conduit uh, hijacker. And again, that was placed in, the, in there as a result of some recent software that you uh, installed. Um, for example, if you installed a free program called uh, FreeMake Video Converter, which is a very nice small piece of software that does video conversion, then it's going to hijack your web browser. So, uh, and you'll get that. So this is how you remove it and at the same time keep the free software. Okay, that's how you do it, and I hope this was helpful to you. This is Ardrum Harris at ardrumharris.com. Thank you for listening.